I'm Rich with Tax TV, here with some important information for individuals interested in starting a business. This challenging adventure is made much easier if you understand some of the tax implications resulting from the type of business you choose when starting up. From a federal tax perspective, there are four options, a sole proprietorship, a partnership, and a corporation known either as a C corporation or subchapter S corporation. Some individual states also recognize other business types, such as limited liability company, limited partnerships, or limited liability partnerships. But for federal tax purposes, if you form one of these types of businesses in your state, you must choose one recognized by the federal government. Let's look at sole proprietorships. This type of business is owned by one individual and isn't a taxable entity in itself. In other words, because the business is owned by a single individual, this person is solely responsible for the taxes and must report any income or losses from the business on his or her personal tax return. So the sole proprietorship taxes are based on the individual tax rates plus self-employment tax. The second business type is a partnership owned by two or more individuals. Gains or losses of the operation are passed through directly to the partners, so a partnership isn't considered a taxable entity. This means the partners must include any gain or loss on their personal returns and are taxed at their individual tax rates currently capped at 35%. Lastly, let's look at the two types of corporations, C corporations and S corporations. Both types may be owned by one or more individuals although C-Corps can be owned by other companies. In general, the standard corporation type is called a C-Corporation. However, it can choose to be a subchapter S corporation if certain requirements are met. In some ways, this is treated like a partnership and any income or losses are passed through to the shareholders who must report it on their personal tax returns. S-Corps are also subject to state taxes in many states. A C corporation, on the other hand, is a taxable entity. This means that the business itself is taxed on any income earned and must submit a corporate tax return. The current corporate tax rate ranges from 15 to 39 percent, depending on the level of taxable income. One negative aspect of forming a C corporation is double taxation. If a shareholder receives money from the corporation as a dividend, then that person must include it in his or her personal tax return and pay taxes on that cash. This payment is said to be double taxed since the dividend, which comes from the corporate earnings, was taxed at the corporate level and then taxed again when distributed to the shareholder. Currently, dividends from U.S. sources are taxed at individuals' long-term capital gain rate of 15%. While there are many reasons for you to choose a particular form of business, the tax implications should not be overlooked. If you'd like more information about corporate tax or other business-related tax topics, search TaxTV.com.